Uh, I know that uh, some of you are using Blender, for example. Uh, it's a bit, diff a bit different the workflows there. Uh, but uh, in general, everything in modeling is usually the same. Uh, um, there might be different tools for something, but in general, it's the same. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, hold up. Yeah, I will share my screen. Um, So, can you all uh, see my screen? Yes. Great. Uh, so, uh, yeah, here is the startup in Maya. Uh, I have changed uh, a little bit uh, to my, um, like, my workspace, how I like to have it, uh, like, with shelf here, with all my tools. Uh, I like to have a big... Uh, uh, 3D view, uh, like a big uh, window for everything I do here. That's why I um, took away uh, from uh, things uh, like Windows uh, or and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so what I thought of uh, doing uh, right now, uh, which classes, is uh, is it is uh, some uh, <coughs> thought of doing some rebounds. That's all right. Um, we have to get the references. Um, so uh, what I do here is uh, I load, load up all the references I have. Uh, uh, for example, I go to the front view. I open up the front view I have of the glasses. Um, then I go to the side view. Let's get the side view vector uh, on it. And this is what you can do in every software that I know of. Uh, just load up background images on all glasses. <clears throat> and uh, when I have uh, loaded up the references in references images, I uh, go to the product websites uh, uh, looking for references of the dimensions. So uh, here uh, in the, I have the, uh, seen some product page uh, up in my second screen. Um, and here I have all the like, yeah, the ones you have seen in the, seen some product page, uh, references, uh, images, uh, dimensions stuff like that and here I can see that the legs are 140 millimeters so what I do here is just load up a cube and uh, press in the one thing you have to check is that the mesh the units are correct so how you do that in Maya is I go to preferences settings and change uh, the working units from linear uh, from centimeters to millimeters and uh, now it gets in the millimeters uh, units. So uh, I write in 140. Um, the width of the lens is 60 millimeters. And that's mostly what I use. Um, Might I might have loaded up? No, uh, it's correct. Okay, good. Then I just uh, match it. So it's. Oh. It doesn't matter that much, to be honest. And I just have like this. Uh, yeah, this is pretty important to just see that. Uh, Everything is like 
almost correct here. <clears throat> yeah, I have to uh, scale it down uh, the reference image so it fits the dimensions. I just forgot to do that. Like only so you get the average ah, mention on that. Um, and then I have uh, created another cube here that is the width of the, of the lens. So I just scale it uh, up. And it's usually like around here, the width of that. Okay. <clears throat> now we have some uh, uh, references here. I load that up. Uh, I just uh, so there's different uh, workflows I use uh, right now. I think I go I'm gonna show it right now. The workflow I use right now that I think is pretty good. Uh, but I'm not sure if it works in, uh, at least I probably works in like Blender and everything, but uh, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure how to do it in Blender, but I know in Blender, uh, Maya. But if you are uh, used to, you can probably convert it to your own software. So what I usually do is I create a plane, and this plane is going to be my uh, base shape uh, like the curve of it. So, uh, uh, what I do is I delete the. Uh, I only like to work with uh, the half of the glasses so I can just mirror it. Um, it's really unnecessary to work with both. And I'm just going to line it so it gets on the middle here. That. And then I scale it down a little to the width of that, and then going to that, uh, the height of it. That. So this is my uh, almost the main shape I have now, and uh, this is really important to uh, uh, a really important information to have. Every glasses you make are going to have a small curvature on the front frame, uh, not in the Y, not like uh, this curvature, but on the side curvature. So, for example, average curvature on the, uh, every glasses is like nine degrees. It's rotated in nine degrees on the front. So, what I do here is like, I mean, it's around eight, maybe. This is uh, more uh, bent down, uh, standing on the desk or something. But uh, it's really important that most most of the glasses are like this. Uh, okay. But here we have a really much better. This really small rotate, but it's like that, uh, four degrees. So I have that. Um, and then with this, I just uh, move it out so I get. Oh no. Okay, sorry, sorry guys. My Maya crashed. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, we can do it like this, guys, so that Richard will take uh, all the questions at the end, and uh, then you can uh, well, ask whatever you feel like when you've seen his process of making glasses. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, when this gets a bit quiet, you can all, 
you can all ask questions to me and I can answer them. Okay, maybe that's even better. Yeah, uh, so, so it's not not get like awkward quiet. <laughs> uh, okay, the, unfortunately it, it didn't save or anything, so I have to remake it. But I do it really fast now. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, uh, if you have any questions, just ask them uh, right here. Okay, yeah. I've got some questions, but I think some of them might be silly and the important one is going to solve. I know that you're going to tell about it. So first thing I was um, about to ask that, uh, what should be the regular size of the file, the output size? The output okay. file of the GLB? Yeah. Uh, so we have, uh, we have a uh, max when we export it for the client and stuff, we have a max file size of 15 megabytes. Uh, usually we can compress it, the textures and stuff like that, so we get a lo um, much lower like uh, file size, but you all have to keep thinking it's not going to be, it can't be super high uh, file size. Uh, maybe around 30 you can export and then we can decrease it, but um, how you decrease uh, the file size is that uh, you can uh, use as uh, little like uh, use as a uh, few materials as possible, and uh, when you use as few po uh, materials as possible, this means that you, you are using less uh, textures, and uh, the textures is the real uh, textures are what really takes up. Uh, big space. Oh, like, like, space. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Yes. So it's actually, that uh, most of my models that, that I was trying that I was trying in the beginning were like mm -hmm. two to four MBs. But when I got little more complicated models and the model that require emissions and emission and uh, more details, they mm -hmm. they are taking something like four to eight MBs now. So I feel that's all right about the size. Yeah. Yeah. Because and also. Uh, for the ambient collision, should we use the separate channel slot for ambient and that might take additional extra size? Or should we just bake it into the base color? Uh, good question, good question. So what I have uh, noticed with uh, ambient occlusion in these glasses uh, is that ambient occlusion is not going to show that much because it's so such a small part. When you bake it, the ambient occlusion is so, like such a small part, so it's oftentimes you don't see it, and yeah, the most of the most are in metallic, re reflecting and uh, stuff like that. So what I usually do is uh, you can bake bake it in the base color perfectly uh, fine, uh, but uh, I often not like include the ambient occlusion to be honest. Okay. Because most of our models are just simple that they don't require ambient, but just some models that have different parts on top of frames, there's a little bit of ambient implosion, I think, mm. which gives an extra feel. And the last thing, not the last, but uh, yeah, it was about the workflow that I was thinking it going to be shorter in the seminar. I feel right now that uh, I'm using a long workflow, so I was just mm. waiting for you to complete your workflow to see how can I speed it up. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, uh, now I'm uh, done, uh, so... so like that. Hello. I have to recreate everything, so... <laughs> no, but now I have saved the file, so I hope it won't crash again. Uh, otherwise I can just recover it. Right. Uh, yeah, where were we? Uh, so... So this is my main shape, so I just rotate it four degrees, something like that. Uh, move it out. And with this one, I will use a bend deformer. 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 Sukanta. I, I can I it's me. So <laughs> sorry. Uh, so uh, this I can get the other curve on it and uh, 
Then we just, uh, so it doesn't curve on the east, that side. It's curve on this side. And uh, with these glasses, uh, the base curve on them is pretty. It's a big curve on them, I think, uh, from the references I've seen. Um, so, for example, if you look through the the, the curvature can like, it's pretty easy on these glasses uh, to calculate. So you can probably just do like uh, this and then uh, have something like this. Or want to? I want it a bit more. Probably want it around there. Maybe. I want to get it like, super all dramatic. Maybe. But uh, whatever. If I have uh, this uh, um, base plane I have right now. What I do with this one is I make it to a live uh, object, and this means that this plane is going to have. Uh, uh, <clears throat> it's basically going to be like a reference target or something like that. Uh, I can draw curves on it, and it uh, acts like a collision or something like that. Uh, so I can go to the, the front view. Uh, and. Uh, from here, I will use a tool called the Quadra. Um, I think it's called like that. It's an icon with a pen or something like that. And this tool is really nice with Maya. Uh, <laughs> uh, I really like it. It's more like, like a retopology tool. Um, but I like to use it like uh, for um, our different stuff like this. Uh, so I'm not sure if this, I think it's a similar tool in Blender or something, but it's what I use in Maya. So what you do here is draw, you, you put out dots, and then you put out the dots how you want to, like the workflow, uh, the edge flow go. So when I have put out the uh, dots, I just hold shift and uh, make a uh, uh, faces around these dots. That and then I can put a edge here. Trying to get it as close to the course the reference image is going to have a bit of like perspective distort distortion on it, but uh, like can't get it hundred percent perfect either. So all right to have that similar shape like uh, reference here. And uh, when I put out the dots here, I uh, uh, put a uh, subdivision uh, smooth on it, so we get like this. In my you can just press pre and you get the preview on the subdivision. Um, yeah, and uh, so I like to work with subdivisions here. And what to do is, I'm either I'm like still going to uh, subdivide it later on, so I just shape it. I want it now with some vision. Like that. And uh, so, yeah. Thank you for that. And uh, hide it. And right now, it should get a similar shape, like 
the product because I have used the uh, plane as a like, base target. And what I only need to do right now is uh, do a subdivision on it. So we, I get this move uh, look on it. I delete the middle edge here because I'm probably going to uh, subdivide it again later on. Uh, and then I can just uh, extrude it. Extrude it to the uh, called the uh, set axis. Get a similar thickness on them. Um, shall I, ha I should have like a. Uh, I, I have a really messed up uh, reference uh, image, so I, I don't really care. I just want to use the reference images like as a guide. So I wonder if this is correct though. You can do like a lot with like tweaking and uh, I think it should like, go out even more here. Yeah. I'm not sure. I would like to have it go up more. Use uh, use a lattice tool. Select all the edges here. Match it down here. that the reference here is not exactly aligned here. This is more, <clears throat> I just want to show the work flow. So I have it there. Um, I can use the, these parts are really easy uh, to make. Just fill it up a little bit. It's uh, super nice with this uh, workflow too because most of the glasses are uh, aligned to one base curve, something like that. So if I use this one, it will uh, be also aligned to that curve. And just do something quick here. Do any one of you have any questions? Richard, do you use Substance Painter too? Yes, I use. I use it uh, a lot. Uh, I think it's really fast. We're growing that. Um, you can have, if you have a revision, 
can directly go because it's, everything is in layers. I can just usually work with fill layers, so I just change one thing and it's like done. Fill a lot. Simber over here. I think this uh, part right here is going out a bit more. I'm just going to look at more at my references here. I not that much to be honest. Um, Uh, yeah, it does, doesn't need to be more difficult uh, than this. I, what I'm go going to do, this is a pretty like a uh, cube, uh, when it should be like more cylindrical, but what I'm going to do is just uh, do a cylinder division on it, and it will get more uh, circular. <clears throat> uh, but I want a hard edge here, so I will just uh, bam bam. I should be more like the curve here. I'm just gonna see how it will look like if I do. I would like to have less curve here. Uh, I would like to have a bevel on the this frame too, um, so I can put a division, a subdivision on it again. Don't get it too uh, smooth. What I uh, do now is just bevel it. That two and uh, one tip is that. Use uh, big bevels because if you subdivide it, or uh, later on, and uh, it can be like some artifacts if you have really small vessels, and it's going to look more natural with bigger vessels, uh, even though it's like the products have really small vessels, it's better to go more uh, bigger than it is like. So I will do like almost like this one. I can uh, see how it reflects with another material. Um. Going to make it uh, stick out more. A bit. No. Hello. About it, I had the edge problem.
because of the perspective, I think it looks a little bit weird if you go to orthographic uh, view. So I have to change it more down than the reference view. And because I go into mirror it, I delete the size of it. I need to be more complicated than that, to be honest. And uh, if I want, uh, I usually do the same thing with the uh, uh, legs too, uh, the one I worked the same workflow I did on the front frame. Um, so I put a, uh, I, it's different workflow I use, uh, lately I do like this. Yeah, you have to add information on it. Make it uh, not a live object. Um, make live. Of course, you can use just uh, uh, use a cube, cube and just extract things. That is fun. It's simpler because you get the whole shape you want. <clears throat> Then I just extrude it. See, it's like
this side is uh, yeah, hinge. Uh, how many of you guys are still uh, watching? Hello? Yes? That's good. <laughs> but uh, yeah. maybe you are uh, all uh, asleep right now. <laughs> no. We are watching. Yeah. It's uh, pretty like just a chill, uh, like a chill uh, stream. Um, 
I'm a bit uh, slower than I usually am. Um, trying my best. Here is the hinge going to be. Uh, Oh no, I'm super stupid. God damn it. Hello Richard, have you Hello. got the reference of the hinge or you are creating what uh, you think oh, you yeah. uh, think you can see yeah. the <laughs> Sorry right. about that. Hold up. Can, uh... So, so here, here. Uh, uh, here is the product uh, page, page I use of. And um, because it's only got only one image, image. I, I have, I have to, to search up the name on Google. Google. And then and there's a bunch of like different other, other uh, websites, websites that have more reference images, like, like example this one. one. So, so this, this is the one I'm taking uh, uh, the reference of. Uh, and then there's maybe probably other. <clears throat> so yeah, oh, yeah, this is what I'm what my reference for. Did it answer your question? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, actually, in some cases where I tried to find the reference on Google, 
uh, and sometimes I couldn't find it. So I just make the most appropriate changes that I can imagine regarding the frame. Is that all right? Uh, sorry. Uh, in some cases where I don't find the reference on the internet on Google, I just uh, to see what's the most similar hinge type that would be suitable for the frame, and I'm yeah. that. that, that yeah, that's, that's that's perfect. Uh, just use your imagination. <laughs> it's a more uh, if you can't really find something. Uh, like most of the hinges are the same. <clears throat> This part I would really like to have more. Uh, this, this one was super hard to... to... Yeah, <laughs> on time, guys. <laughs> now we have already gone by. Um, I'm thinking of doing this, uh, like some live streams, sort of. Uh, maybe uh, sometimes uh, every week, maybe. I don't know. Because uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna work on this one uh, later. Uh, 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 more at home. But this, uh, this uh, webinar was more like a uh, try to uh, to see how it uh, works uh, if it uh, works for you guys. Uh, if you like, guys like it. Uh, maybe some nice uh, motivation. Uh, yeah, if yeah, you if stuck on something, it might be good to watch this. Uh, so I'm thinking of like having this uh, every week or something. But right now, I think I have to go soon. So uh, my question is like, how how did you guys uh, think? How do you guys like this uh, webinar?
No one liked it? Uh... No, no, actually, I was waiting for the complete seminar and now I feel like it was so short. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it's not worry about I thought it would be uh, much, go much faster, but uh, I was uh, pretty slow with uh, I was actually waiting for the GLB packing part, where I think most of the people can get the issues. Uh, GLB? Yeah. Uh, what do you mean? Exporter? Yeah, I am currently using Vectory to export GLB, and uh, in 3 Max, there is no way to arrange the meshes like it is said, that uh, a specific order of arrangement can help with transparent issues. So, yeah, sure. I, I can uh, definitely show you guys uh, how it works. Uh. <clears throat> so, so I've been uh, next, yeah, at the, the be be beginning of this project, project uh, we, uh, had we had a lot of transparent product, uh, products, products, and uh, we uh, had we a had big issue with that. that. Uh, so, we so we have experimented, experimented a lot with uh, uh, like how to, uh, to make it work and stuff like that. Uh, can I'm show sure you. I will send you. I will send, use I a transparent product, product uh, because, because it's pretty beneficial, beneficial to know how to order it and stuff like that. So, so uh, this, this one is uh, the butterfly bowl thing. So we take, for example, this one. Uh, uh, yep. Yep. This, one this one maybe, maybe not, not that transparent, we can shift another one. Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we have, have some, some weird, weird reflectance, like uh, transparency, stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Even yeah. better yeah. measures on. Um, Interesting. I didn't know this. We have switched to 3D motion too. Alright, that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so, uh, this one doesn't have it. I should the wrong one. Should be different. Let's load the OBA file uh, in the directory. I manually uh, fix all, all the materials, materials and uh, uh, stuff like that this here. Uh, so, for, for example, example, the glass, glass should be a clear glass, glass. but uh, here they are, and uh, messed down. Uh, the metal hinge uh, should be its own material, I guess. Uh, it's really, uh, it's really important, important that you, that you uh, take, take the, the material, material uh, color to the top here, here, to the left. left. And then, then I change the, the textures on it. Alright, wrong texture. texture. So I made all the textures in the substance painter, exported it at PBR textures. Uh, and this one, I would like to have everything in the same material, material but uh, different uh, meshes. So... Yeah, this, yeah, this one was the uh, spectral one. So I should another one. Let's try this one. Think we have no map. 
And how, how you, you order, order it, it in Vectory, uh, 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 is that, that imagine, because you, uh, you, uh, you have to order, order it uh, manually, manually, like how the, the camera is going to render it. So, for example, the transparent, okay, okay, I want to render uh, uh, this, this one, one for this, this one. one. I have to, I have to change, change the ordering of the of it in the outline here. here. And, and why you want to do that? that because, because sometimes the issue with our transparency things uh, are that this one renders first, first and this and one after. after. And this, and when it uh, blends together, together, it will look like this one is uh, uh, in front, front of that, that one, one when it when should it be the opposite. The opposite. <laughs> so. Uh, so I, what I will, uh, what I like, uh, to, I like imagine to imagine is that, that imagine if it's a it's camera a here, spreading out, out a bunch, bunch of rays. Of rays. Uh, uh, so uh, can I show you? Like, uh, uh, yeah, but yeah, imagine just a bunch, bunch of rays here, and then from that, that you order, order it. Uh, uh, what come, come closest, closest to this uh, uh, to this point in the middle here? So, uh, so uh, the, the inner, inner object is coming first, first in the list. list. Um, um, I want to render these, these first. first. So I take, so I the, take other the other leg here, here, put it in the first, first bam. bam. After, After that, that, I take, I take the front, front back. back. Putting up the top. top. Uh, then I take this one. Bam, bam, bam. Can't have this. So right now it should have a uh, uh, in order, so I so go I to export, export ELB, and here, here is some text decompression. You can have, I used to I take 99, uh, text size, I, uh, don't include the default camera because it's unnecessary. And yes, the sharps are, like, don't like ELB, then go to sharps are 3 tester, load it up here. And yeah, it, should it should look, look fine. fine. Oh, it's, fine a it's a bit weird here, here. but this part is uh, okay, I think. Yeah. And uh, the, issue the issue that we have, have usually is that, that sometimes, sometimes the leg, the leg here, here is coming. Is coming front of everything, and uh, if it does that, it looks like this. Uh, maybe it wouldn't... Yeah, yeah, like this one. Right now, I have changed the rendering uh, order, like the ordering in the list on this one. Uh, and this happened. Uh, looks really weird. I would rather have this one. Then it blends perfectly. Uh, so I put this one back here. And back. And it should be pretty good. So, uh, so, did it answer did your, your question? question? About the ordering, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, about the mesh ordering, yes, it did. Uh, what was your other question? Uh, I would actually like to 
is vectory the really best option to pack GLD because when we're exporting texture from substance and then in vectory we apply the textures and then when we have to recheck it then we again go back to substance painter then again to vectory and then to our online viewer so is uh yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's maybe not maybe the, not best, the best, process. best process. Uh, uh the, thing the thing is that, that we have a history with Vectory. Uh, uh, we, we have worked in it a lot. lot. Uh, it's, uh, it's really simple, simple for Q and A to work in. Uh, it's got uh, everything that we need. That's why we are used. Then we found, then we found out that, that this can fix the transparency issue that I have spent ages on trying to fix in other software, but it doesn't work. I have seen that 3GS. Uh, uh, editor, editor have uh, done something with the like the rendering order, order thing, thing, but doesn't export like that, like that. and it doesn't, doesn't work in GLB or GLB. Uh, 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 but yes, yes you, you, it's, not it's not the best, the best optimal, optimal workflow. workflow. What you, what can, you can do, do uh, uh, is export uh, from uh, just, just GLB from, from Substance Fader. No, that the doesn't work. Yeah, 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 but yeah, not not, not, not for, for uh, like the like final, final export, export, just for, for trial and error. Like, okay, this color doesn't work. Ah, this color. Ah, uh, uh, don't don't uh, you don't have to like uh, care about uh, transparency issue because that uh, you can fix it later in Vector, for example. Okay, got it. So just when I'm happy with the color, just then go back to Vector and then do the final export. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's more efficient. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <clears throat> but yes, yes uh, you're, you're, you're right, right that it's, it's not the best of, uh, workflow right now with Vector. Uh, it's the only, it's the only one, one we know that, that it works, works. Uh, course, pretty good. It was a huge frustration when I couldn't track the correct GLB until Vector. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do anyone uh, else have a question? Oh, I just oh, want to yeah. try to share a trick with Maya to solve this transparency problem. You can do it by combining things, I mean, separating pieces and then combine them back in order, selecting the last, the, the object you want to be um, over the things, you select it the last and then combine. And then the order you use to combine the object, um, respect for Transparency. transparency. It, it always, always works, works with, with um, 3DS, 3DS maths. maths. It works with That's it. Yeah. Uh, 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 just, just, okay. Sorry. Sorry. I mean, did he mean just to have two objects and never seen one transparent object and another opaque object? object, opaque object? I'm, I'm, a I'm a bit confused now. now. Uh, <laughs> now it's a lot of information going around my head. My head. So, so uh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, can uh, we start over? Start over. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry. <clears throat> yeah. Um, Marcelo, Ma Marcelo. Marcelo. Yes, I'm here. Uh, so, uh, what you were asking, asking about, about was uh, combine, combine uh, the object, or what do you mean? No, it no, was not a question. It was a, a tip. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> All right. It works. Uh, combining things in order uh, solves the problem of transparency. Oh, but you have a lot of manual control over it. And you can do it with Blender too, with sorting something. Oh, uh, you can. The thing is, most of our users are using Blender, and. The, Blender have a really bad uh, control of it, and I tried to find a solution on it, and all the only on the solution I found was the sorting uh, elements, or, or that's called. But it isn't that super good, to be honest, but uh, that's why we are giving out vector accounts right now for uh, ones that have problems, problems with transparency issues. Uh, so the, uh, it's like the only solution we have found for now. Okay, and a uh, question, question about, about exporting GLTF from Maya. Is it possible to assign a standard material from Maya and then use them as a GLTF material without having to reconnect uh, nodes throughout a uh, lender or something? 
what do you mean? Like oh, export from uh, uh, Maya? Uh, uh, material from Maya. I think Maya actually has, has some uh, plugins Maya to support directly GLTF from, from Maya. Maya. I think it, it would be quicker, but I don't know how to do it. Yeah, I haven't experimented with it a lot. I tried to find for like a plugin for it, but it must be in, uh, be a new one, right? Okay. okay. It's coming. coming. Oh. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't have a lot of information on that. So, so I can't uh, really uh, answer that. Okay. okay. Uh, I, I've, I've forgot, I forgot to read the read chat here. Uh, uh, many of you have uh, asked a question, question here. here. How to make a leopard, leopard picture, picture in Painter? painter. Uh, uh, I don't know I really what the leopard, leopard picture, picture means. Mean. Uh, uh, but I, 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 this one thing I can, I can uh, show you that's, that's really, really beneficial to know, to know uh, uh, that many of are having problems with. <clears throat> Yes, Here we can. Can we get the theme of screen here? Substance Peter. Yes, yes. Great. Uh, so this, uh, I want to have uh, a like a uh, pattern texture on these glasses. Uh, so what, what I do here is that I import, I import if I have like, like this is pretty, pretty, pretty like limited, limited. You have you to have, have a front have and side view on it. Uh, but if you have that, that uh, it's really, really good. good. So, so uh, what I use uh, uh, is uh, uh, I make a uh, paint layer, layer, go to correct tools, and uh, deselect uh, every. I just want to have color. And then, and then in color, color I, import, I, import, I import the front view of the glasses, glasses I want. And here and you can see that it's just some green pattern here. So, so I want, want to, to like match it, match it average, average uh, around here. here. So like right this. And uh, from here, here I, just, I just, yeah, just yeah, paint it. Paint it. And uh, trying to, right, to just, just have an average. average. Bam, 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 bam. Guess uh, uh, it's, it's got a black uh, background. I can use it. Like that, that's and uh, uh, then I just uh, use the uh, ether uh, to uh, take away all the white, white uh, artificial, artificial. Yeah, I don't know. What 
And yeah, yeah. Uh, so I got so the, the main texture, texture on it now. Uh, then I can just use the clone brush. brush. Uh, uh, I usually to take, take an absolute source. source. Uh, then uh, hold down V. I can, I can take, take this part this and, just and just clone it clone uh, together uh, with uh, 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 yeah, just yeah, paint it really with the texture. Bit time consuming, but yeah. it's pretty yeah. accurate to the reference image. And I can just uh, make another layer. Okay, this side view. Yeah, I hope this uh, answers with the pattern. Uh, like this is how I usually do it. If I can't do this, uh, just have to find another way to do it, uh, like make my own pattern on it. But I think this works pretty like fast. You don't have to put a lot of time in just making a pattern. So, do anyone have a question? I think team chat would be good for the, for the questions. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. I think team chat would be good for further questions. I'll ask there if I have more. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, like. Yeah. Uh, I think I have to go now. So. We went a little bit over time, but yeah. No worries. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> if no one have a question, I will say that, uh, good luck and, uh, continue on with your projects, I guess. Uh, and, uh, we see, uh, I see you next time in the next uh, webinar.